Want to see something cool? This is a kick-ass ultraviolet blast from the past that'll give the old school cool dudes a tiny tingle in their dirty dangles. It's a tanning bed torture chamber for memory chips. If you're a habitual warranty voider and enjoy writing about on circuit boards, it's only a matter of time until you come across a chip with a sticker on top. Most chips are laser engraved with barely digestible breadcrumbs that may or may not lead you somewhere useful on Mauser or DigiKey. But some silicon sports a secret sunroof. This is a glass window that lets you peeping time your way right down into its unmentionables. This is particularly badass because for most people, it's the only way you're ever going to get to actually see the die of an IC. That little bit inside there is the die. It's the actual electronic part of the chip. All the rest of this is just the carrier and bits to let it plug into the board. The die is the brain. All the rest is just a hard candy shell and external connections. Kind of like how my body is just a ramen-powered meat machine for getting my brain, hands, and dick from place to place. Same idea. They told me my body was a temple, but failed to mention it was one of those Hindu ones where the monkeys fling shit everywhere. Most chips don't come with a window, but a special class of chips called EEPROMs have them. You're used to RAM. It's what everything from your computer to Daft Punk runs on. Random access memory. PROM is programmable read-only memory. It's used in a lot of things that never change, like your microwave or car stereo system. The program is burned in at the factory, and once it's in there, it's as forever as luggage and herpes. You can buy PROM chips and program them yourself, if you like, but only once. An EEPROM is erasable, programmable read-only memory, and the process to erase them isn't electrical like it is with your SD card. This uses UV radiation. It really is a toy-sized tanning bed for computer chips. You pop them on the tray, set the timer, and they get bombarded with a little ultraviolence until they can't remember anything. I've had weekends like that. If you think this is neat, check out what cosmic rays have done to various forms of computer memory over the years, because that's pretty cool.